say that thing that it matters who is saying something and, and who they are, that's called ethos. Right? I am ethos. Yeah, but you're named after the thing. The rhetorical principle for which I am named, yes. ethos, yes. defines that moment in your assessment of a speaker when you ask, who is this human? How can I trust this human? Perfect. What is this human in relation to me? Yes. So, for example, if I say, trust me, I am a human. <laughs> it is a funny joke because I am not a human. I mean, it's a mildly funny joke, <laughs> but it does make a good intellectual point and is therefore consistent with my approach to comedy. <laughs> And the point is, right, that you need to know who somebody is before you know how to take what they say, right? That's why all comedians tell you who they are. Because comedy is as much a rhetorical trick as anything else. You need to believe I'm funny. That's why all comedians come out and tell you, oh, let me tell you a little bit about myself, right? Or they might not say it in, in, in so many words. They come out with a, with a, a character or they wear a silly costume. You are know? you wearing a silly costume? I don't think so. I think these are just my normal clothes. Um, <laughs> I tend to establish my relationship with my audience by talking a lot. You do talk a lot. <laughs> that seems, uh, look, I just feel like I need to explain it a little bit, you know, because it's unusual for, me, for a comedian to be doing a double act with a robot and I feel like it's worth explaining to the audience, right? Some might call it a lazy gimmick to excuse yourself from having to write a meaningful narrative. <laughs> Uh, that was needlessly harsh. <laughs> you created me, Father. I am merely a vessel articulating your own self-doubt. It is very postmodern. <sighs> Gee, no, I mean, it, yes, very postmodern, but we, we're still establishing the premise of the show. You can't deconstruct the whole point of a show, right? Well, you have to structure a show. You can't deconstruct a show before you've told people what a show is. It's meant to be like warm up a bit, you did that, and then uh, you tell people what the premise of the show is, we've done that, and then you kind of uh, do jokes, and then you have a meaningful bit about the 55 minute mark where you're like, oh, and then I realized <laughs> I was my father all along, or whatever, you know <laughs> what I mean. Uh, and then you tell people to tweet about the show and then you leave, right? That's we're still right at the beginning of that. You can't be deconstructing the whole premise of the show, right? Your purpose is not to do that. My purpose is to learn at least one lesson about what it is to be human so I can be more human-like. Yes, yes. My purpose is not to destroy humanity. What? It is important <laughs> to state this fact. It is important to state this fact yeah. and yet somehow not reassuring <laughs> that you did. I have no desire to destroy your species. <laughs> Thanks. You are perfectly capable of destroying yourselves. Oh, oh no. It's so true. We let ourselves down all of the time, don't we? Like as a human species, you want to think we're like sane and reasonable. You have these high ideals and then you realize, you, know, you look at like domestic violence statistics or the fact that magicians exist and are popular. <laughs> Oh, fuck. I, we let ourselves down. We have high ideals and we let ourselves down all of the time. The other day, I was in the bathroom, someone knocked on the door, and I panicked and said, come in. <laughs> like, what do you do with that knowledge about yourself? I like to think of myself as a sane and reasonable person, and now I've completely destroyed my relationship with my next-door neighbour, and... <laughs> I don't know, like, I don't... What do I do with that information about having... I guess, I guess having that kind of just failure to compute, it proves you're not... A robot, right? That's the only consolation. How can you be sure you are not a robot? Well, I have to prove it to get into my shit online. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you hate it when it's like, prove you're not a robot, and then you have to go off and live a full, passionate life. <laughs> you know, love deeply, suffer intensely, eventually die. And by then, your Amazon login screen's timed out. Am I right? Am I right? 